Oh boy, we just got one of the biggest changes to crafting we've seen in a long time. I don't think people are entirely ready for this. I'm gonna have to take it with a grain of salt, but for those of you who do not know, let's just quickly hop in and look at exactly what GG has planned for 3.24, is specifically to do with Veiled Chaos Orbs, because it's a big one. The Ashling reward of remove a random modifier, replacing it with the Veiled modifier instead, has been moved to the function of the Veiled Chaos Orb and has been removed from safe houses. Veiled Chaos Orbs will now exclusively drop from Katarina, the leader of the Immortal Syndicate. This makes the orb more powerful, but also allows for full trading of this craft between players and a more clear path to target farming this orb by maximizing your Katarina kills. So that's the change. Veiled Chaos are now going to function like Ashling Slams, and this is something the community has kind of been asking for for a while. We wanted itemized Ashling Slams so we didn't have to use external third-party sources to get those services. But I don't think anyone really wanted old Veiled Chaos to get replaced because they are incredibly useful. Even if you don't use them, directly you probably use them kind of in a tangential way by using the trade site so i want to go over some of the crafts that use veiled chaos while the old ones that no longer exist and show you that this is actually a really painful change for a lot of low to mid-level crafting so the first and most obvious change with this is going to be boots. You can pretty much guarantee, it's so about a 98% chance to guarantee movement speed on boots with Veiled Chaos. Now bear in mind, the new Veiled Orb, which are replacing Veiled Chaos Orb, they are actually more powerful than Veiled Chaos. The problem is that they are going to be many orders of magnitude rarer because instead of just dropping or getting them from Ashling in Syndicate Encounters, they're now only going to drop from Katarina. So you're gonna see far fewer of them drop and you're gonna see far fewer of them on trade, which means they're gonna be much more expensive. But first example, let's just see. So for boots, Normally what you want to do, you get three really cool suffixes. Maybe you find them, maybe you craft these suffixes. Then you would go, suffixes cannot be changed, or do your wild bristle matron, whatever. Hit it with a veiled chaos, then block mana, unveil, and you have a 98% chance to unveil movement speed. I've made so many of these boots, never not unveiled movement speed. So first example, getting boots with like really good suffixes and movement speed and then you bench on life as the final prefix and then maybe give it a little bit of a slam see what you hit this not going to be as accessible next league that being said don't worry rog prints boots like this so there should still be plenty on the market it's just that you won't be able to get this nice unveiled mod as cheaply as you were before now another one that's going to hurt a lot of people who are playing fizz to cold conversion builds is going to be these gloves because you can very easily get 60% fizz converted to cold on gloves and then you grab the mastery to get that other 40% there you have your 100% fizz converted to cold can drop your trim sorrows now you can get some really good gloves this again going to be a lot harder to get so similar craft we're going to get Gloves with really nice suffixes. Again, maybe you get it from Rog, maybe you get a good fracture and then essence it. And then what you do, suffixes cannot be changed. You're gonna veil chaos it. And then usually what you wanna do is actually block one of the other fizz converted. So fizz converted to fire, unveil, and then you get fizz converted to lightning. Now, failing veiled unveils, I guess, is gonna be a lot more painful nextly because if these things are really rare and really expensive and you don't hit what you need, <sighs> It's not going to be as fun as just clearing off your prefixes, doing again. So, whoop, we failed. All right, let's try again. Oh, failed again. No, we didn't. We got it. All right, fizz converted to cold. Here we go. And then the other 25% comes from Eldritch Implicit. So I'm not going to spam it, but yeah, where are people going to get this extra 35% fizz converted to cold? I am not totally sure. You can get it from Watch's Eyes. Otherwise, people are just going to keep using Crim Sorrows for a lot longer. There's a lot of other examples. Let me know in the comments which one you're going to be missing out on most. Other ones, maybe chests getting percent life as a prefix before benching on life or getting ailment avoidance as a prefix. Those are big ones that we're going to be a lot harder to get. Also rings. A lot of people, what you'll do is you get good suffixes on your ring and then you will lock suffixes, veiled chaos, try unveil life or maybe even flat damage and then bench on minus mana cost. 
now you're gonna be missing out on one of those modifiers. There's also some more high value specific modifiers, let's say on like seven link gloves, getting that plus two proj, that's gonna be a lot more expensive. Helmets getting plus two AOE, there's plenty of examples. Let me know in the comments which one of these you're gonna be missing the most. But don't panic everyone, we've had so many changes in the past with crafting, we've always survived it. Also, we are working with very limited information. GG might come out tomorrow and say, oh, by the way, Veiled Chaos are now actually just Chaos Orbs. So they're not actually gone from the game. Or maybe there's some new mechanic in the game where they've added Veiled Chaos Orbs as a thing. Maybe just normal Syndicate Ashling will have a bench that functions like a Veiled Chaos. So I don't think we need to panic yet. However, if things are just this way, the impact on sort of early, early mid-level crafting is going to be pretty significant for the vast majority of players. But don't panic, we will get through it, we will get through it. There's plenty of other things we can do. We can still use our exults and <laughs> we can use the vision slam and try and hit that life or movement speed that way. We've also got our good buddy Rog. Rog will always come in clutch. Pairing Rog with Old Veiled Chaos previously was a really good way to make currency. That is most likely gone, but you can still get your movement speed boots, get good rings. It's just that a lot of these Veiled specific mods that are not as easily accessible now, you can still get them on your crafting bench, don't worry, but you're not going to be able to unveil it and then add on another one at its full power. So let me know what you think. Is this completely the end of the world? Is this fine? Are we gonna be okay? I'm okay with it. I really like itemized Ashlings. I just hope that they, they add something in, but judging by the last few leagues, the amount of power that we've been getting with each new league mechanic, I think we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right, but things are gonna be different next league. Anyway, have a wonderful day everyone. Stay safe, catch you in the next video, bye-bye.